This is our field trip over to Ackleberg, which is a little island off the southern coast. And the little black dot you can see is a bunch of students coming across in a curragh. One of the traditional boats. It'll take them a while. So they've almost made it to us now. And what you can see there is Clockmore. And uh, coming around, we've got that piece of rock there. It's done a glass, which is a really excellent promontory fort on a little um, islet in Blind Sound. Really lovely spot. Being very heavily eroded at the moment. Here they are making landfall. Okay, so we're down at the beach on the eastern side of Ackleberg now. And we're looking at a really nice shellman site. Uh, and we're here just on one of the main concentrations. But there you can probably see a mixture that's mostly made up of limpets with a few whelks around and some oyster. A nice big oyster shell. But this midden, this one's quite cool because it's it's got a lot of animal bone in it. We've just found a horse tooth. Um, there's been sheep skulls found here, or sheep or goat. Um, there's also been an Iron Age bead um, that was pulled out of here by one of the American universities that was investigating the place. So really quite a complex site. Now it's been heavily eroded. Um, but it looks like this, this platform here is simply slump material. So actually the deposits are probably intact inside this if we were to dig down there. Um, it's a shame to see this getting so badly worn away without investigation but we always have to have a quick quick look and see what we can pick up from the surface and it is a gorgeous little spot um, it's a lovely little beach here and then we'll go over from here and we'll have a look at the, the schoolmaster's house and the schoolhouse which is actually pretty interesting so we'll see you over there in a bit made it round to Dunkill Moor, which is um, a, a wonderful promontory fort, allegedly the largest or one of the largest in the whole country. Um, the promontory has a large internal area, over there you can see a monastic enclosure, which is of, a, of an early Christian monastery. And then as we come out here with the, the ditch, uh, the internal ditch, separate not separating off this promontory and you can see the ditch continues over there with this really strange building that may be a gatehouse or a tower or some part of the entrance uh, because it's built over the, the shallow run of the banks and the ditches you can see the next headland over is also ditched off um, so you can see that there now we don't know when that gully formed so Originally that may have been part of this headland um, and they just come through. They do seem to line up quite well, but we don't know. We simply don't know. Um, looking over that way, you can just about see Keen Bay and Acklehead and Moychove and all the places we were last week. So we're going to have a look around this promontory fort and then we're going to go and see another one um, over on the other side of the island now. There's a tiny little area this one. Very different from Dunkill Moor. Uh, really quite a rugged bit of coast. You've got some nice caves along here. And these are all per the process of the erosion that's going on. Shrinking down these promontories, which is why we lose so much of the interiors. You can see the big the the main bank here. Bank and ditch. This looks like the original causeway across, so we've got a little bit of the ditch surviving there, but very little of it on this side. Um, 
what's nice about this site and there's a really really impressive set of buildings just down here uh, totally unexcavated of course but um, we're quite keen on these 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 look very interesting indeed they don't really fit the vernacular architecture so we presume these are quite old possibly a pair of early medieval huts possibly even iron age we don't really know what iron age buildings would look like so it could be that they look like this they're very nice um, you see the main building there and a little annex or something built onto the side of it oh good grief this is all erosion since last winter all that land has has gone you used to be able to walk out onto the other promontory out there but well, that's the that's uh, one winter's worth of erosion has breached all that so we're just visiting uh, Kildavna Tower House a wonderful tall slender reasonably early tower house on Ackle Sound we've come around the corner from Ackle Beg um, we just found out that Abbey is claiming to be the direct descendant of Grace O'Malley, the pirate queen of Clue Bay, who used, who used to live here. <laughs> Some sort of descendant. Um, so I think she's going to put in a claim to get the castle back. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Um, and now we're going to go up to Kildavna Church, um, which is a really sweet graveyard and church just up the road. Up there.